Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel, folks. You are greatly appreciated for all of your support, whether you're just watching, subscribing, watching and clicking up 30 seconds later so you can tell YouTube the content is not all that, but you know it's all that karmics. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by for 30 seconds. We do appreciate you for doing that. Okay? I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibration or energy. Okay? Whatever your enemies have stolen from you, tried to steal from you, it is returned to you, being returned to you as we speak. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Okay? A judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into our terror reading. What in the name of source is going on here? So we have someone that may want to give you something. Give you some type of payment, some type of balance, bring balance into a situation. People are going through a tower behind the scenes while life is being balanced out for you. Someone is trying to, oh, what is the word I want to use? Someone is going through a lot of laws and they're trying to figure out how to bring balance in it, kind of control it, make it steady, lessen the low, lessen the loss, right? So someone may think that giving you some type of financial payout is going to bring some type of balance into a situation after they betray you, left you. Listen, my, and someone didn't want this to come. I was trying to move my hand and my the arm of my shirt got cut up on the table. We got to say what we got to say. Let us go. For betraying you, leaving you out in the cold. So someone is going through that right now. So they may want to bring balance into their situation. Someone is losing quite a lot of money behind the scenes for partnering up with a group of people to take you down. Maybe they didn't know what they were partaking in. Someone found themselves in some type of sticky situation they may not be able to get out of or they're having a hard time getting out of. You may have someone that wants to communicate with you just to kind of let you know what's going on. They're trying to manifest a new beginning with you, a ten of cups with you, but this is someone from your past. I don't think spirit is allowing this union to come back together because someone made your bed. Now they have to lay in it. It is what it is. Someone is going through some type of karma, but this is what they want to do. They want to go from here to this. They want to have some type of victory with you, but I think judgment has been called on this situation, so someone is going to have to move on with their life um, because, honey, this is, it is what it is. It is what it is. Someone may have chosen like a ho-ho-ho over you, and now they're realizing that they took a wrong turn, and now they're trying to do a reverse-reverse back to you, but, honey, we don't do reverses. There's no reverses in Star Sea Lane. Okay, there are no reverses on star sea lane. It is a straight and narrow path. You simply can't go keep going. It's a one lane, one way. Okay, it's a one way street. There's no return. So if you got up somewhere along the way and you decided to go to Cormacville, you got to stay on that lane. Okay, but collective's lane is one way. Maybe you two started here. And you saw each other eye to eye. You were on the same page. And then he glanced over and he saw a karmic and he decided to maneuver his way to the karmic. And he got to be there. He can't be coming back to you now. So you're on your straight and narrow path. And sources that you just keep going. Yeah, he wants to reconnect. But this union is not valid anymore. The contract has been void. So you're on your straight and narrow path. And whoever this is, man or woman, they are stuck in karmic bail. They're going to have to figure out how to find their way out of there. Someone went and got with a ho, ho, ho over you. She's a ho, my brother. She's a ho, my sister. You's a ho. Okay? And they're finding that out. Someone did not realize that they were sleeping with the enemy. They were sleeping with the enemy. They thought they were going to have wish fulfillment with whoever. They partner up with over you, and it's not working. Someone pay or did something behind the scenes for your wish fulfillment to be interfered with. This could be the karmic paying people behind the scenes to make sure two people don't come together. 
you say, hey, 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 if you see her going out, make sure you follow her. If you see him going out, make sure you follow him. They don't need to come together. I got a good thing going on here. He buys me whatever I want. Okay, I don't got to do much. Okay, I get to shop all I want. I'm having a fake baby and all of that. I was pregnant before. The baby's not doing too. The baby's not, you know, here anymore. But I got to keep lying to him and tell him that the baby is still here. Someone is very slimy behind the scenes. With this page of pentacles out here, someone was using a baby as a cash cushion. They thought because they either got pregnant or told someone they were pregnant, it secured the bag for them. This is very dark. I don't like stuff like that. The truth has been exposed. But some of you, this masculine, they didn't get anyone pregnant. But the truth has been exposed just about what kind of nightmare they put themselves in with this karmic, with this group, this institution. There is absolutely an institution in here. They may be even trying to fix things behind the scenes, but I doubt it. Doubt it. These are criminals. They're probably just trying to mend, you know, put a band-aid over a bullet wound. That's what they're trying to do. They don't care. I said something about pregnancy, and then I just saw the Empress car. Yeah, I saw, I was going to say, I saw the Empress car somewhere. Someone faked the pregnancy. Or someone did something, did something about a child to get themselves some money, to secure some money or a relationship. Someone has been pretending to be a woman of high honor, but she has fallen from grace. And now this masculine is trying to recover all of his laws. But honey, you might as well just put an end to this chapter and move on because it's going to be a long road. I'm telling you, cut your loss and move on. And uh, you cannot come back to collective now. Collective, you don't want, I don't think you want, collective, I'm not even going to ask you. I know you don't want this. You're listening to collective, you're keeping your distance. I knew you didn't want that, nothing to do with that. You're like, uh-uh, now over here. Now over here, Johnny, now over here. I'm telling you, collective don't want nothing to do with this. Collective say you need to stay in karmic veil and you all figure it out over there. But I'm telling you, sir, ma'am, cut your loss and move on. You might want to be careful, collective. Someone wants to come into your life just to play with you, juggle you, okay? Someone is just now realizing that they chose the wrong energy. They've been dealing with this scene, karma, for many lifetimes. They're losing again to the Jizzy Bell this lifetime. <laughs> it's a hard knock life for this masculine or whoever this is. So they're trying to find their strength to keep their distance. They're protecting themselves from this karma. They say, you stay back. Uh-uh, stay back. Uh -uh, you've caused me enough loss. Someone, there's a woman that got her friends, strangers, all kinds of people, a whole community to help her block something from taking place, block a union, block a collaboration, block some type of offering, something like that. If a masculine wanted to work with you in the past, someone got her friends, her karmic friends to work with her so they could block that. Okay. And he went off of looks or something. Or there will be something about religion behind the scenes where they're all into the same fake religion, false religion, dark religion. And these will be people that pretend to be Christian on the service in public. But behind scenes, honey, they have another master that's making demands. Um, oh, my gosh. What is that? What the heck? I say another master. And then the devil comes out. He's back there. She's back there. It's back there. Uh, do you have my cow? Have you have you done my cow today? Where's the blood of the cow? Yes, they got another master behind the scenes that they take orders from. This is absolutely a dark coven. You may have been interacting with the head of a coven and you didn't even know it. And they chose to stay in toxicity only for the whole group to turn on them secretly. And they didn't know that the whole time. Someone, listen. With this tower out here in the reverse, someone, in, <laughs> let me correct myself, with this tower out here in the reverse and this page, uh, page of pentacles, someone manifested you. They told the universe they wanted a genuine woman. They wanted a genuine partner. Someone got tired of the toxic lifestyle they were living and they made a cry to the universe but something or someone genuine and sincere. Listen, I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. What is this? The page of cups. He told the universe he wanted a new life, an opportunity to start over. 
Okay, a new beginning is what he said. In the universe, and he cried genuinely, sincerely to the universe because this masculine or whoever this is was tired. He was tired going home to a karmic every day, surrounded by karmic people, no genuine people using him for money, all kinds of stuff, people getting drunk all the time, involved in all types of low vibrational activities. And he got tired because he used to indulge in the same thing. Mm -hmm. He's toxic. And he prayed, he cried out to the universe one day. And the universe said, well, would you look at that? He finally asked for help. Okay, we are going to try this. So they put you into his life, in his pathway. He saw you. He said there is something about her. There's something about him. There's something about her. There's something about him. They seem familiar. Oh, that was your soul twin, darling. That was your soul twin. Okay. You two have a contract together in the ethers. Well, you had a contract together in the ethers. But this contract is void. And I tell you why it's void. Because this masculine betrayed you behind the scenes. So this contract is void. Okay. He cried out and answered his call, but he saw you. You seem like too much responsibility to match up to. He couldn't he couldn't face up. He couldn't man up. He said, I can't have multiple women if I'm with this one. I gotta be respectful. I got to treat her with respect. I got to be a man, you know. <clears throat> okay, I thought you were already a man, but, you know, he had to be a man man because you're an empress. I can't just be out here being loose, hanging out with anybody. I can't be toxic anymore. And then he turned and he looked at the Jizzy Bell. He said, wait, listen, I can keep this one. She lets me do whatever I want or I can do whatever I want with her. She's into the same lifestyle I'm into. She sleeps around, I sleep around. She's reckless, I'm reckless. She's toxic, I'm toxic. I think I'll stay in this toxic lifestyle. So the most I said, oh, but I thought you cried out to me and said that you wanted someone genuine. And you know, he was he was silent. The universe said, oh, okay. So you've made your final decision? And he said, yes, I go with the karmic. Oh, okay. So the universe took you collective out of their energy. And then it became a SHIT show for him. This karmic has drained this man's pockets. This brother went from the nine of pentacles to the nine of pentacles in the reverse. Now he's busy getting drunk, doing stuff to, you know, mellow himself out to be able to deal with the reality of his finances and his life. Someone went from being secure in life, having everything they ever wanted being able to just buy what they want and at any time, any time to this in the reverse. Wishes will not come through. Materialism, not satisfied, greed and vanity, overindulgence, conceit. So this is him now, okay? Or this is what he was doing. This is what he's accustomed to. This is what he's been doing since you two were separated. Basically, honey, and a brother, oh yeah, a brother is going through a hard time. He was having a hard time seeing the truth. He was manipulated to see you in a false light. They told him you were karmic. You were, and, and that's the interesting thing. He's karmic, so you would think he knows the characteristics of what a karmic is. So this masculine knew you weren't karmic. He just chose not to accept the truth for what it was. A whole bunch of people told him you were karmic. You have a whole karmic in front of him, manipulating him, and he fell for it because what? A karmic knows a karmic, but they live in denial. She blinded him. She caused stagnation. She said, we got to make sure they don't come together. Again, I've got a good thing going on here. He gives me whatever I want. I don't love him, but he got money. He got money. So she went about paying people behind the scenes to make sure uh, this wish fulfillment, as far as you two coming together, does not happen. Okay. Someone is trying to, I don't know what the word is. It's like it's on my tongue, but it's not coming out. You know, when you try to control something so it does not get worse than what it is, that's what someone is trying to do behind the scenes. They're trying to control the damage. 
damage control, something like that. Okay. And he's working hard to do that. He's trying to remove himself. Now that the truth has been illuminated to him, he is trying his best to remove himself from these people, take a different path in life because he went within. He finally went within after all of the hocus pocus. He finally went within to see the truth. Okay, baby, there's still more to come, sir. It gets worse. There's still more secrets to be revealed to you about this situation. Okay, yeah. There is still more to come. There is absolutely either a police officer in here that got paid to come do you something. And he's caught up in something that he does not realize. He's busted. Someone is looking into you, sir, ma'am. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> sure. Someone is looking into you. Someone is watching you. So while all of you are stalking someone, trying to bring an ending, I don't know if you were hired to on a live someone, of someone, wherever it is, you are being watched yourself. You are being watched yourself, and this is your future. Okay? This is your future because this is the decision you made to partner up with these people. Okay? To partner up with these people. You partner up with him. You should have moved on. You partner up with these people to end someone, interfere with, I don't know what the heck it is, but you are being watched. You see how she's facing you? There are people watching you or there's someone watching you. It could be very much another energy like yourself that's watching you and keeping nooks. And they know everything you've been doing, how you accept that bribery and donations behind the scenes to do someone something. You always got to be mindful. You always have to think, what if there's someone watching me? What if the Bureau has someone watching me? And they do. And they do. You left your badge out in the cold when you decided to partner up with these people. You dishonor your badge. I don't know if you've always been a crooked cop or a crooked FBI, wherever you are. You dishonor your badge. Don't you guys go through a lot to get those badge? I, I heard that they pepper spray you all in the eye and everything. That's a whole lot to go through just to dishonor that badge. That's a whole lot. Honey, I can't do it. Nah, uh-uh. No, Sonny, I don't want to. I don't want to. You mean you got to pepper spray me in the eye? For what? So that I know what it feels like? Honey, I don't need to know. I can imagine. I can imagine. Imagining enough, imagining it is terrifying enough for me. Okay? You did something, sir. And judgment is being called on you. Judgment is being called on you. Oh, Lord. Hmm. Mm. You all were trying to bring a tower to someone innocent. You thought they were dumb and naive and you found out. Oh, no, 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 no. This person is not dumb and naive. They're not dumb and naive. This person is just quiet. They just know how to play their cards right. They mind their business. They see things from a long distance. They, see, they have a, a, a foresight of what's going on and they just shut their mouth and keep on going. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So they ain't dumb. I'm telling you, they're not dumb. They see things exactly for what it is. They see the truth. Someone is very detail-oriented, very analytical, practical at the same time. So you give them a, something, you give them information, oh, they're going to break that information down to the core, down to the basics. Uh-huh. And dismantle everything and then put it back together and say, uh-uh, I think not. You're a liar. You are a liar. So someone dishonored their badge in this situation because of some money. I'm telling you, um, someone here dishonored their badge. And you've been being watched the whole time. Information has been being collected on you. And this is judgment. You are under judgment. You were supposed to bring balance into a situation. And you chose not to. What for? Money. Promises. False promises. There's an institution in here. Whew, I picked up on this energy some time ago. 
There is an institution, an enterprise within this enterprise that's a spy in this enterprise. And this is something another organization sent him into this enterprise to spy on them, to see how they do things. So he's studying how you all do things and reporting back to the organization he came from. You have a spy amongst you. So you've given access your, to someone, you've given them your intellectual properties and things like that, and they're just giving it to the next party that they came from. Someone does this regularly. They're, they're a professional spy. They were sent to get you all's way of doing things. Why is this nursing home successful? Why is this logistics company successful? Why is this hospital successful? How do they do things? What is their chain of command? What is their operations of whatever business, business of operation? What do they do? What kind of language do they use internally? Passwords, balances, checks and balances, everything you all can think of that you've given access to this masculine, he has given it to the previous organization he came from. Okay. Yes. And the idiotic, idiotic part about it is there are people in this organization that advocate for this masculine. Oh, he is in the upright. He's a, he's a well-rounded guy. No, he's not. You've been feeding your destiny blocker, as I like to call them. Everything you can think of, they've been giving it to the previous or a company. Yep, I'm telling you. Hmm. This man has a contract, a commitment with his previous employer, and he passes on your intellectual properties to them. This is how they do things. This is who's on their board, and this is who's in charge, and this is what they do. This person gets paid this. This is how often they give races. And there are idiots in this company, high ranking in this company, following this heifer around like a happy dog. <laughs> Tails whacking tongs outside. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy is a stand up guy. Jimmy is a wonderful guy. Jimmy is destroying your business from the inside out. And by the time you realize what Jimmy is doing, it'll be too late. These are the kind of people when you work at companies under them, they are a nightmare to work under. And you will notice things and you try to tell the higher ups of in that company what's going on and they'll shush you or just, you know, disregard you. Only for them to have to learn a hard lesson. And there's a company that's about to learn that. There is a company that's about to learn that. I'm telling you. Mm, 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 mm. This will be the kind of people when they come to a company, they come with their own team. They come with their own team. They don't want to work with anyone else. You know why? Because the team is into, it's in on it. They know what's going on. They know what's going on. They're all there for the same reason. This will be the kind of person they'll come. They don't mind getting rid of other people so that the team that they brought with them can take over those positions and things like that. This is going on in a couple of companies. They hired someone and that person is destroying that company from inside out. And by the time they realize what's going on, it'll be too late. Too late. Anyways, back to our reading. And that came out, I picked up on that a while back and I've been keeping it to myself. But honey, maybe someone from these companies are watching and they will go and look into things. If you hired someone and something is just not setting right with you, every time you see this person, something is just not, <laughs> something is not milking the buttermilk for you. Is this, you think there's smoke on the mountain. I don't care if you don't see the smoke. If you think there is smoke on the mountain, madame, madame, oh God, go and check. 
because there is smoke where there is smoke there is fire and the fire is blazing but the time you all try to put out this fire it will be too late you don't f up you don't fuck up by the time you all try to put this fire out madam okay it will be too late you don't finish yourself i'm telling you go and see go and see there's someone in the company where people just they can't get their hands on it like something is up about her something is up about him he's an imposter someone was hired to steal from you all someone was hired to destroy your company maybe you all are very competitive in the industry you're in so this person was sent to dismantle your business so that they can get rid of you because you're the competition and this could be like a huge corporation a huge enterprise and they don't know it anytime you hire uh, someone and they're stern that they have to come in with your own people something is wrong something is up this is not the white house where when you when a new president takes over they come in with their own administration this is not the white house that's typical of the white white house and that's normal when is anything outside of the white house and you or you hire someone to come into your company and they tell you they are bringing their own people with them be alarmed be alert be cautious question that why is he bringing his own team why is she bringing her own team why are they stern that we hired this person and we already told them we have someone for their position think what is it karen what is it darling what is it what is it what was it this is the truth some company needs to hear you have a, a company and there are operations going on within that company that you don't know about there are multiple operations going on within that company that you don't know about and this new addition to your company oh this one is going to just finish you off i'm telling you you see this you see this this is the seven of swords this mother sucker done snuck into where the enemy's camp this is the story behind the seven of swords this man here sneaks into the enemy's camp and steals their sword so then when they wake up to go to battle they don't have anything to defend themselves that's what's going on with you all this man has come taking all of your swords he took five there are two and what do you see him looking at those two swords he's coming back for those two swords He's not satisfied to have two. I mean, to have five. He wants the other two. So someone within your midst, in your company, while a lot of you companies are out here being aces to people, being prejudiced and all of that, trying not to pay your workers what they deserve to be paid, someone is dismantling you from you are from the inside. But I guess that's justice because a lot of you companies are just greedy. You don't care about your employees you don't care as long as as long as the higher ups are getting their bonuses they get to do whatever they want eat all the the lunches and breakfasts and dinners they want at work swipe the company's debit card credit card hey you get a company card boom boom someone is dismantling you all's empire from the inside out you know the whole concept about mysis how they just chip away at things with those annoying little teeth, teeth of theirs. They just chip away and they do it little by little, discreetly. And you don't know it's happening. And they keep going and they keep going and they keep going, they keep ticking. By the time you notice that their mice has been eating at your cheese or whatever it is, honey, that cheese is no longer there. And that's what's about to happen to a company. This, this man has done it before. He's done it before. Yeah, this is a business, either business manager or he's high ranking in a company. He's done it before. He's an imposter. 
And every time he finishes one company, he moves on to the next stop. Next, uh, yeah, the next stop, the next company. Fresh start. He's starting over brand new. And guess who's coming with him? His team. His team. Oh, you don't need to. Uh, you don't need to hire a general manager. We don't need the general manager you've had this whole time. They've been with you for fifty years. I know. I know. But my general manager, they are top tier. Oh, okay. Well. We have to, we, we want to make sure we work with you. And then they go and fire the general manager that's been there for 50 years and hire a new one that comes with this moron. And then they don't know why their company is falling apart. And when they come and ask him questions, ask her questions, he mellows them out. I promise you, all the changes I'm making is going to take a while to take effect. But you're going to love it. I promise you things are going to get better. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not going to get better. By the time you realize what this person is doing, oh, honey, you are going to be filing for bankruptcy on the news. Sally Ann's restaurant of 20 years. 50 years, 40 years, it's closing down. What? Yes. Sally Ann has been a stable of the community. She brings people together. This is a generational company. It's been passed down generation to generation. What's going on? Yeah, Sally Ann hired a moron that advised her to let go of her committed employees, her loyal employees, because this moron promised them that they were going to be making a lot of money. If Sally Ann owns multiple locations, Sally Ann, the new moron, the moron in the company told them, hey, sell that business, sell that location. We'll make money. We can use that money to finance this other uh, location. And then when it you know, gets to a certain point, we can sell that. Why are you selling these locations? <laughs> Why are you selling these locations? Think about that. It belongs to you. You have people that own stock in this company. Why are you selling it? Why would they advise you to sell this location? Think about it. I tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. There's a company that's been undone by a narcissist, a thief, and they were sent by your competitor to take you out. So while you are out here pretending to be holier than thou, pretending to be Christians in the public, but demonic behind the scenes, one of yours is taking you down because that's how you see him. That's how you see her. They're taking you down piece by piece, step by step, mm -hmm. break by break. This is someone high ranking in a company. This will be like a manager, supervisor, CEO. Vice President, CFO, COO, everything OO, administrators, vice, assistant administrator, whatever, assistant vice president, whatever you want to call them. Step by step, break by break, they are tearing you down one day at a time. And they smile with you when they see you. Hey, Linda, how are you? Wonderful day, isn't it? And under their breath, I can't stand this mother effort. I am so sick of coming to this company. I can't wait till it freaking falls down to the ground. And I'll never have to come back to this place again. Mm -hmm. But then when you come, this is them with you, baby. Sometimes this is karma. This is karma. Some of you companies go through this in life because what? your view on how other people are your racial perspective you give people that are different than you lesser positions in these companies and then because people or someone looks like you you give them higher ranking positions and you know they don't even qualify for those positions that's karma if you didn't know now you know and if you don't know now you know trigger you know very well who you are. Hey, wish for the star. Thank you. Mm -mm. Don't 
somebody's beans is being freaking exposed in this reading. They've all been coming for you, not knowing that the enemy is right under their nose. Right there, looking at them every day. Right there. Right there. And they all are friends with him or her. Ha! Right there. Let's get back to this. <clears throat> uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You may have someone now that wants to work with you because, honey, we're getting back to our basics in our tarot. That institution right there, they're going to have to figure it out. Let's get back to the basics of our reading. This King of Swords here, he's being watched just like he's been watching you. Someone went hit wire and there's someone else watching him to bring balance into the situation. You have another king of swords in here that may want to come into your energy. They're saying, oh, I choose you now. I choose you. Now they see you as their love interest <clears throat> after they betray you and all kinds of madness out here. Okay. Someone is being sent into your energy and you are being advised to go within and see why this person will be reaching out to you after so long. That means you know who this person is. You are aware of who this person is. And there has been some type of time lapse between the both of you. Okay? Either you were let go from a job, a location, something from a community. You separated from a community. So there has been some type of time lapse between you two. You need to think, why is this person reaching out to me now? Why are they choosing me now? Because you already know this person chose someone else over you. They chose a karmic over you. So why would they be coming towards you now? Oh, I know. Pick me. Pick me. I know. I know. I know. I know. Is it because the karmic did a number on them? Oh. Mm. They partner up with the community. And they didn't go well. So now they want to come in and give you something. That's ulterior motive. Do not accept any offers from this person. Do not. This, this contract is void. It has been, I'm telling you, keep your distance from this person. <clears throat> they don't even want me to get the words out. I'm out here choking. I'm trying to say distance and it's just not wanting to come out. Keep your distance away from this person. They partner up with this community to take you out. That's what you don't know or that's what they think you don't know. Now they want to walk away. Come, honey, keep your distance. He's keeping his distance away from the karmics and you are being kept away from him. He's being kept out of your energy. This contract, whatever this is, is void. It's not coming together. He's going to have to walk away and figure it out. Someone chose a ho, ho, ho over you. And again, she's a ho. She's a ho. My brother, she's a ho. Use a O, my sister, use a O. And she knows it. He knows it. Well, now he knows it. If he didn't before, I doubt it because these two are karmics. These two are karmics. So he knows what she is. You already know what the deal is. He has no genuine intentions for you coming into your life. Someone has lost a lot of money and they think coming to you and partnering up with you is going to lead to some type of abundance for them. You're going to be giving to them and things like that. This is what, this is what they think. They're like, wait, 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 wait. So that empress, the one that I have a soul contract with, it's abundant, right? So if I leave all these fools behind, uh-huh, and I go in and try to mend things with her, reverse this tower that we were trying to cause her, Oh, she's going to take me back. And once she comes into abundance, she'll be sharing with me. We'll build a family together and we'll move on, you know, sail on the calmer, calmer waters, heal together. I bullshit, brother. It ain't happening. Don't do it. This is not a genuine person. Someone is toxic at the core. And you don't have any ill intentions for them, but I'm just telling you this, this contract is over. You're going to have to move on. I, I said move on and the eight of cups comes out. My brother, you will move on, eh? Ale, ale, beat, beat. 
Ale, ale, beat, beat. And he doesn't want to hear that. My brother, you go here. Ale, ale, beat, beat. Go on. Move, move, move. Fast, fast. That's what I'm saying in French. Ale, ale, go, go, go. He's not happy. He cannot come back to you. When he tried to come back to you, this is you. Watch out! Uh uh. Wrong turn. You already made one turn before. Stay on there. If you don't want to, take another turn. But this one right here is not for you. Someone chose a wild card over you. They went with a juicy bill. I'm telling you. You see this right here? They're, they have a whole plan. The only reason he's coming into your life is to steal from you. That's all. That's all. To steal from you, set you up, get you. I'm telling you, you saw that? Steal from you, set you up. To cause you an ending, stay calm. Because your ancestors are taking care of it behind the scenes. That is the only reason this masculine is coming into your life. He's going to come out. When he first comes into your life, he's going to come out real friendly. He wants to share the little bit of money he has left. You know, the karmics have taken everything from him. Delete stash. <laughs> delete the SHRT, Linda. <laughs> they deleted everything. By the time he realized it, he said, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my gosh. I don't went from $200,000 to $5,000. So now he wants to come in with his measly old $5,000. No, you let him keep his money. Don't take advantage of him. Wish him well and let him be on his way. For someone coming into your life, it's not for a genuine cause. It's for them to steal from you and end you. And they're going to come in very poised. He's going to act like he's healed. He's moved on, baby girl, baby boy. This here is still a nightmare. Okay, you have a whole new soulmate that the source has gathered up for you. He said, hey, listen, the one before you, don't F5. He don't fuck up, so it's your turn. And he said, yes, I've been waiting for Divine Feminine. I just want you all to see everything I've done to do, uh, everything I've done with myself. I've healed. I've acquired higher knowledge, okay? I've been taking care of people, making the right decisions in life, focusing on my pentacles. I just want you all to see that I'm doing the right thing. You see that? And they're like, yes, we know, we know, braggadocious. We know, we know. <laughs> like he knows, he knows your worth. So he knows he can't F up because someone cares about their ascension. So he's making it sure that spirit is aware that he has no ill intent for you. He's like, I want this. Please make sure I get this in. Oh, look, it's insured to you. That one back there, that idiot, he done fuck up real, real bad. And he's going through it. Listen, so the victory is yours. <laughs> Listen, I bet you my ancestors be clowning when I'm talking. Like, they just be laughing. I'm like, this, like, girl, we didn't tell you to stay out of that. There is too much entertainment for this. They just get to the point. Listen, I'm telling the truth. They're watching me. I can feel them around. Sometimes when I'm, I'll go back and watch my videos and I can see them. Like the, the angels, like I can see them. Sometimes if you all have time, go through my videos. You'll see something. You'll see something. You will see something. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm telling you, spirit is not supporting a union with you and this person. It's over. Judgment has been called. Someone's ancestors have left them. They've lost protection because they betrayed you. They made a decision when they chose that karmic over you, that JC Bildo. She's old. That one. He made a loud statement to source to his ancestors that he did not want to, to be with you. He said you were too much work. As in, he didn't want to man up. Someone is still a little boy on the inside and refuses to grow up. That's why he's going through this karma now. So all of this planning to come in and say, oh, I choose you now. I now know that you are my twin flame. You are my true love. I choose you. It's all a waste of time because you already know what his motives are. And if you didn't know, now you know, chicker. 
And if you don't know, not you know, okay? So this has been revealed to you. Anyone from your past, honey, a lot of you, you're not listening. There's no one from your past you need to be paying attention to. Your future is up ahead, okay? This is who he chose over you because she was what? Beautiful. Maybe has a big behind and things like that. Very superficial and toxic just like him. Mm-hmm. You're this character in the upright, and she's this character in the reverse. And he loved that SHIT. Someone loves himself some karmic, and they always disappoint him. But honey, that's what he signed up for. She's for him and everybody else in the community. Everybody else in the community. Everybody else. Now he's thinking about you. He said, I, I had a chance to be with someone of high honor. They were going to secure me in life, move things in the right direction for me, my twin flame. But now, honey, please, your ancestors say, I think not. You're going to stay right where you are because that's the decision you made. And we're protecting our child from you. Yeah. You're going to have to learn your lessons. That's what you sign up for. That's what you're going to have to settle for. So things are going in your favor, collective. You have a higher level soulmate that is being brought into your energy. And not this mother sucker here. He's, this, this contract with you and him is done. So whatever plans he has to come into your life is just to keep you trapped. And your ancestors are not protecting him. He's trapped in here and his ancestors have walked away. They've left him. He's lost per, uh, protection. This was someone of high honor, by the way. This was someone of high honor. Very intellectual, very sharp. But there's something also about his mental. He's easily led astray. Very easily led astray. He goes back and forth in his mind. It's a lot of swords out here. So it's a lot of mental manipulation. And this is how they got him trapped in this mess. That's how they got him trapped. And... I think he knows that he cannot come to worship, but he's going to try. He's going to try. But he knows this contract is over. He's stuck where he is. And in order for him to be able to ascend and move on with his life, he's going to have to let go. But someone coming into your life is just to cause you disappointment and trap you, have control over you. Because you are about to be so abundant and stupendous. And this person knows that, so they want to come in and give you some type of offer, but it's not a genuine one. It's to disappoint you and keep you trapped. Have you indulged in low vibrational activities? You never used to be in threesomes and whatever some he wants you to be into it before you know it, you're indulging into things like that. That's not the life for or star C. That's not what you're made for. That's what they're into, menage trois, menage cats. Menage sing, menage si, menage set, menage oui, menage neuf, menage dix. On those trois cats, six, like, baby, they're just going. Ain't no limits. They do it all. Someone has an actual addiction. They have some type of addiction. And they need to go get help for that. But they're surrounded by people that encourage that behavior the droops the extra uh, explicit situation someone could even go both ways and things like that honey someone's very i don't know what it is what it is but someone's very uh loose on uh, irresponsible with your body okay they're very irresponsible they're trapped with someone they wanted to trap you this is what they were doing. This is their plan. So you're being warned ahead of time. We're all being warned ahead of time. These people are trying to trap us. So thread with caution. You have nothing in the past for you. Nothing at all. And for me, I don't be caring. If you come around me and I feel like something is up, guess what? Something is up. Goodbye. I don't be caring. Goodbye. Goodbye, my nut, my lover. Goodbye, not my friend. You have not been the one. 
you have not been the one for us. Goodbye, sir. We wish you well. I don't know if this is going to work because all of these cards are so different in size. Ugh. Anyways, Queen of Cups, light being, you are secure. You have nothing to worry about. You have a new soulmate that is being sent to you. This masculine is coming, this, this other, this piece of work is just coming into your life. To give you something so they can trap you. They may even be like a setup. They're coming in to set you up with something or on something in something that has nothing to do with you. So be mindful. Be mindful. And your ancestors are not letting these people play around with you. They ain't playing. The whole cult is being dismantled. The whole community is being dismantled just because they came for you. Just because they came for you. Okay, that's how important some of you are, and you don't know it. You have these morons of a karmics playing with you out here that you're thinking you're not important, but you have the authority to make judgment in their lives, playing with magic, but don't know what the F it is <laughs> until they F around with a star C and find out that oh, I think we ought to leave this one alone, shall we? Oh. But there's a karmic that never wants to let go. Never wants to let go. Let's see what our angel numbers are for the day. I went ahead and just combined it, all three decks because, honey, I didn't have time to be playing with that sister and her paper thin cars. Mm -mm. I don't have time, girl. That's too much playing around for me. Oh, I didn't know this was two. Anyways. Five, it says flexibility is your fort. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavor. I am adaptable. Sixteen, seven, you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. I am perceptive. Okay. It said, inner critic, replace negative self-talk with positive affirmation. Challenge negativity. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that is powerful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The magic of letting go. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.